Hey guys, it is Plasma Scream, and I wanted to share with you uh, some findings that we found recently on a specific character in Injustice. Uh, there, for a long time, for many years, was perceived to be a bug in the game that would cause Regime Hawkgirl to crash the game when she would go for her special two. Now her challenge is relatively recently, right here, and as the days was coming up, the well, challenge was about to start, we were just thinking, you know, if she didn't crash the game when you used her, she would be a really, really good special two carry because of her passive right here. You know, she gets guaranteed crit on a 200% mini game. You know, after that, it's very easy at 200% because it's like super fast. You can get that 200%. Uh, you get guaranteed crit on that, so you don't have to use crit augments on her. You can just get 250% crit damage and you're set. Uh, especially to his 4 hit, potential 3 KO. You know, it doesn't necessarily chain from death card, but like the second hit does, and the second hit does much more damage than the first, so it's like kind of a good thing that it doesn't chain. So it gives you more of a chance to just like one shot somebody, maybe even bypass an Astro Harness user with that second hit. Um, but she's just like a, just a great cure, right? And also the fact that she basically comes with like enchantress because when she tags in, the opponent cannot use any special attacks or super moves for five seconds. And even if someone gets knocked out and somebody tags in, that effect stays active until that time runs out. So you can actually knock out up to two people before someone can even use a special against you. And that is amazing. So it's almost like because of her passive, she just comes naturally equipped with like demonic cloak and enchantress at the same time so she kind of has like gear flexibility because of that which is super sick so you can use you know something like this um you, know, you can use ava stick and a cool little thing here about ava stick another dot gear she would use her you know like this if she applies any dot during or after the special and after you do a 200 percent minigame it will crit guaranteed and if you are max crit damage that DOT is going to hurt like hell. That is going to seriously, seriously hurt. But these are some things you should use. I would probably use Heart of Darkness because um, you kind of don't want to use Race School Scimitar. Um, you want that first hit to miss. And so you want to use Death Cart. Um, so, and because you don't use Race School Scimitar, you're not going to use something like, you know, Demon Blade or Demonic Cloak. Nor would you need to because she's going to mask. She's going to get a crit anyway. So you're just going to go for like just in general gear, like Heart of Darkness. Um, but if you did have like power generation on the team, like from 600 Wonder Woman or Animated Harley, this is another gear you can use, you know, to like what's on it. But anyway, so I tested all the characters in the game, right? All the characters. So I had, I had an idea. I was like, is this a case of, is it just random that she just crashed in the game? Or is this because of a specific reason, like a specific character that is making her uh, crash the game? And so we went through everybody, all 144 characters in the entire game. I'm talking golds, bronzes, silvers, medals, all of them. It was me uh, and two users named Lithosign and Spread Corgi. Okay. And we tested them all. And what we found is... She would not crash the game against any of the characters except when you fight a Aquaman Prime or a Suicide Squad Joker Unhinged. This guy right here and also this guy right here. These two characters in particular, when you would go for a special two against them, would crash the game. And... I also found some other things as I was doing this. When you are fighting teams that have one of these two characters on the team, it does not matter if the character is right in front of you as you are doing the special two. It does not matter if they are like in the back and you use a special two on one of your teammates. The game is going to crash regardless. It also does not have to be just a special two. The game will crash if you go for a special one. The game will crash if you go for a super move. The game will crash even if you go for a combo ender. All of this while using Regime Hawkgirl. If you go for any of those things with one of Regime Hawkgirl's teammates, it is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. You can go for specials. You can go for super moves. 
You can go for combo ender, special twos, whatever you want to do, right? It is perfectly safe for her teammates to do, you know, all their attacks. No problem. But if Hawkgirl herself, Regime Hawkgirl, uses any of her special one, two, or super move, or combo ender, the game will crash. Now, I was finding it really strange, like, why these two characters out of everybody in the game? You know, she's perfectly fine against everyone. I was, I was testing against everybody. She wasn't crashing the game. She was fine. She was doing good. You know, I was trying it in multiplayer. I was trying it in survivor, uh, challenge mode, you know, story mode. And she it was all fine, except for these two characters. I was like, what do they have in common that is causing this? Well, if you see the passive right here, they both have these effects where they can summon like little minions into the match. Both of them, Aquaman Prime and Susa Squad, the Joker Unhinged. Aquaman can summon the Atlantean Hero with Special 2. And Joker Unhinged can summon like the Jokerified character when he gets a KO. But the weird thing is that even if these minions are not actively in the match, you know, like their password is not activated currently, the game will crash anyway. So it's just for some reason because they have these passives, regardless if they are currently in effect, the game will crash if you try to go for a uh, one of those specials or a combo ender and regime hot roll. And so I was like, I really want to use Regime Hot Girl because she's a really slick character. Her passive is amazing. Special 2 is really, really good. Her stats are honestly super solid, so you can have her Elite 9. And I think she'd be a really, really cool carry. And I want to use her. So I was thinking, like, how, you know, how are we going to do this if we're just playing, through, like, multiplayer matches? And I just, I mean, Aquaman at Prime and Joker and Hanks, they're not that common. But you still have the chance of running into them, you know, every now and then. I was like, well, how do we combat that? How do we deal with that if that happens? Because if you can't go for any of your specials, not even your super move, you can't even go for basics, how are you going to knock them out, you know? Because the the average team for you is going to be like the carry, high promoted, you know, in this case, nine, your tank at least zero, and then your support at like, you know, promoted some, you know, but not, not a lot, right? So you can't just expect your support and your tank to knock out the whole team. That would take forever or it might not even happen at all because of just the stat difference and the gears points might have and so i was thinking right i would not normally recommend this for offense because i think she is strictly a defense team character okay but what if you used somebody like batman ninja catwoman okay and this is what i would do for this team i would use astro harness I would use Let's Go Helmet Armor, so she can still tank hits, perform as still kind of a tank, you know, and then overpowered Bobby Nova. This would allow her to still perform as kind of a tank because you have Astro Harness and Let's Go Helmet. You would want her to be Elite Three, so her passive can be evolved, and she can make the, you know the best use of her increased damage with her basics. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to get KOs. With her basic attacks, with her super powered basic attacks, further you know augmented by ideally max crit augments and these two gears. Let's go comment for the crit damage and OP pill for the max uh, crit chance and the life drain, which would make a great combo for her to, to keep her uh, staying alive and also just power draining in general for her, you know the OP pill and her passive. They would take hits easily because of Astro Hunts and Let's Go Comment. She will basically just be. Uh, fully geared for like survivability and basic attack, you know, damage increase so that she can have an easy time just mowing through the whole team. I think with these gears at Elite 3, fully evolved, she would have an easy time taking out an entire team by herself. And that's what she's unfortunately going to have to do if you fight a Joker Unhinged or Aquaman Prime because you're not going to be able to use Hawkgirl at all. Not even if you have like crit gears. Um, not crit gears, um, DOT gears, and you have crit augments, and you're trying to go for, like, you know, DOT from her specials, and trying to use the, the DOT from the, the gears to take them down in order to win that way. You can't even do that. I tested it, because special one would just crash the game. Can't even use super moves. Test that. Super move just crashes the game. So you can't use her at all when you fight these teams. Now, again, Aquaman and Suicide Squad, Joker and Hinge, not common, but when you do fight them, you're going to be prepared because you're going to have a Catwoman able to take out the whole team. I would not normally use Batman Ninja Catwoman on 
offense because you know she's pretty slow at taking out the teams. You're better off just spamming specials, which we told him carry. But in those instances, it would greatly benefit you in having her take out the team with her basic attacks. Another good thing about this, if something happens to Hawk Girl and you lose her, like she gets KO'd, um, you can just tag in Catwin and she can kind of operate as like a backup carry. Uh, these gears, one second. And that will save you the match and make it so you can still win, even if Hawk Girl gets KO'd because of these gears. You know, and she'll hit very, very hard. So it'll be very easy for her to get KOs um, with these. And that just leaves the support because you basically got like the tank for Catwoman or quote tank, kind of like an offensive tank. And, uh, you know, Hawk Girl, of course. No, I don't have him. But what I would do is I would use Dawn of Justice Batman. The reason why I would want to use him, and we're going to just use um, someone as like an example. We're just going to pretend like Batman Prime here is DOJ Batman. Okay. The reason why I want to pick Dawn just as Batman, and I'm planning on getting him when his pack comes back, is so Hawk Girl can disable specials with her passive, right? And so that is one way to prevent specials from being used once she tags in. Catwoman can then power drain, right, with her basic attacks. And she can also do it with her OP pill if, say, the passive runs out, which I doubt it, but it can. And then you have Dawn just as Batman with his passive where he can, like, use his evasion, right? And he will be able to dodge specials. So you will have three ways to basically disable specials of some kind. Whether it's evading them, disabling them, or power drain them. So I think that's a really cool like team. Just revolving around like shutting down specials and just making it really hard to use them. So I think that'd be really cool to do. So that's what I'll do. I would do, you know, the Batman. Why do they keep doing this? Um, with these support gears. You know, just, again, just pretend this is Don just a Batman. I do not have him. He costs real money. Um, you would still use, you know, Claw Force, you know, Race Cool Scimitar, Ava Stick for some DOT, um, and then, of course, you would use Regime Hawk Girl right here with Master Death Cart, Tanky Totem, and uh, Hard Darkness. You could use Ava Stick here, that is another um, option, and then maybe you have to use something else on Batman, maybe like, maybe use Hard Darkness on him, you know, that's the only thing. Um, and then, of course, you would use Astro Harness, OP Pill, and Let's Go Comment on Batman Jack Catwoman with her Elite 3, Elite 3 is between Evolved, and um, Max Crit. So she can hit as hard as possible and kind of perform as a backup carry for you. So, yeah, that is basically, I believe, the ideal way to use Regime Hawk Girl. Um, this is a problem that. As long as I've played this game, this is something I have heard about. I think this has possibly been a thing that has been an issue for as long as she has been in the game, which is she's a very old character. This is possibly something that's been, you know, a problem as long as she's been, you know, in the game. And the developers have just never fixed this this issue, never patched it, never addressed it, and like that. She's always been, you know, she's always like crashed the game for people. No one ever like thought about like. Well, why is that? You know, who is making her crash the game? Is there a reason? Is there a certain character that is causing this? Yes, there is. Not just one, there's two. But it's just two characters, and they're both kind of rare characters. You're not going to fight that often. But you just got to keep that in mind when you're using her. If you run into a team, if there's an Aquaman Prime or a Suicide Squad with Joker Unhinged. It is not all Suicide Squad characters. That's a myth. It is just Joker Unhinged. So if you fight a Suicide Squad team and there's a Joker Unhinged, it's not the Harley or the Joker, the normal one, or the Deadshot. It's the Joker and Hames that is causing the game to crash. And of course, Aquaman Prime. So you would go into your Catwoman, or you could use someone else as your, you know, basic attacker. Like, I don't know, Arkham Knight if you want to. Um, and you would take the whole team out with that character and their basics. Or maybe specials if you want to use those two. But that would be the best way to use her. She's a very good character. Passive is amazing. Special 2 is amazing. You know, there's just she's too good not to use. And I saw this, and I wanted to find a way to use her. And before I was even gonna be able to do that, I needed to figure out what exactly caused her to crash the game, and that is why. It's because of the Aquaman Prime and Suicide Squad Joker unhinged. So as long as you know that, and as long as you are prepared to deal with them without using her, you will be fine, and she will perform very well for you. The ideal promotions for that team I just mentioned is zero. For Dawn Justice Batman, 
probably like elite, somewhere between elite seven and elite nine for a regime hawker, but no higher. Nine might not even be exactly what you want to do at maybe seven or eight, um, and then cattleman at elite three. That is what I would do. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something today on Regime Hawker. Maybe gets you excited on using her. You know, some of these people, you know, they've been kind of afraid to use her because they don't want her crashing the game. You know, maybe like you know, don't want to take chances. But just know that it's perfectly okay to use her. You just gotta make sure if you fight one of those two problematic characters that you do not use her against her, and you use one of the teammates that is um, geared to take them out. So yeah, thank you guys for listening today. Hope you learned something, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.